Welcome to the shooting show. This week, I'm on the last of the Rodeo Cull in East Yorkshire just before the lockdown, followed by Stuart Wilson on camera. It was almost a perfect morning for stalking. The only issue really was that the wind wasn't quite strong enough to keep a single direction. It just kept dropping, swirling a little bit and it was mostly in that southwesterly quarter but uh, I was straight onto a buck and a doe and there was a follow with them but it just went over the brow uh, the minute I clocked them really and I think it had probably seen me and was a little bit unnerved and moved out of sight. The buck and the doe, however, they moved on, not bothered at all. Despite the minor frustrations, it was great to be out. It was a perfect spring morning. There was geese mumbling away in the background, alert just out of sight. And If they'd have uh, took flight, they would have probably given the game away and come squawking around us and uh, honking away. But fortunately, they stayed on the lake. As we stalked down the grass layer that was parallel to the wood, uh, it was full of game. There was hares, English partridges, pheasants, more hares, and uh, inside the wood, e even the bad guy Corvid's put in an appearance, magpies, crows, rooks in the background, so it was just brilliant to be out really. Uh, we, we didn't quite get onto the the position we really wanted to get to, uh, the door and the book kept moving and, and, we, and we, we knew that the follower was there but it was just so frustrating because it was, a, it was a follower that I wanted uh, and eventually the deer moved and they moved over the brow too so uh, they kind of caught up with I'd expect really uh, with, with the follower and then moved away into the woods so we had to rethink it and uh, just paused a while the way the wind was, we really just had to just carry on and just give them time to settle uh, and, and that's, that's what we did.
Yeah, okay, that, I mean, that was a long stalk down side of the plantation there. Uh, it's a great morning, a nice spring morning. So it's the back end of the season. Uh, just catching up on the coal. I need another 11 animals, so now I only need 10. Uh, birds are singing, fantastic morning to be out. We struggled, we came down, we stalked, we stalked, we looked, we saw deer coming in, deer going out, nothing stood. Uh, wind, there's not a great deal of wind, so there was a, quite a few swirls and eddies. Uh, it didn't help, uh, but you know, finally it came together. Uh, there was a, a donor follower, uh, there was, they were actually sat down, uh, couched up, and uh, the doe stood as, as it, we, we came up to the sort of line of trees, stalk, stalking down uh, the chalk road that goes through, uh, through the wood here. And uh, she stood up, she looked, she had her backside to me, I couldn't see a follower. I could just see some buck antlers. That's all I could see, but it was like a, a, a flashing kind of look. So he put his head up, put his head back down. Uh, she turned, the follower stood up, perfect broadside shot, safe background, good steady shot, straight up the front leg, bang. And uh, she fell uh, basically where she stood and uh, she's come straight through the shoulder. Uh, it's actually broken this right offside leg. Uh, but she didn't know really what hit her and you can see like there's some some lung there uh, just straight through it couldn't have been uh, couldn't have been better really so yeah good result I normally prefer to grelic beasts on the ground but uh, that's probably due to being brought up on the hill I was taught to actually grelic uh, the beast on, on the hill and there ain't too many opportunities uh, for a suspended grelic uh, on the uh, slopes of uh, Scotland's hills or, or indeed Yorkshire's hills so uh, that said cameraman Stuart Wilson insists that I uh, attempt a vertical grelic uh, Chris Dalton style our contributor viewers will know uh, as our Scottish expert north of the border Like many businesses, gun dealers have also been hit by having to close their stores during this confinement period. So Browning and Winchester have decided to ask for your help in supporting them. Let your gun dealer know that you are interested in purchasing a Browning or Winchester gun from them and they will send you a gift pack in appreciation. All you need to do is follow the link in the description box below and fill in a simple form. As soon as the confinement is lifted, your chosen gun dealer will receive your promise to buy, together with your email address and telephone number so that they can get in touch with you. Well that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And do ring that bell for more videos. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.